Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to reverse the rotation or reverse the polarity on a ECM motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we're going to be reversing the rotation on a ECM motor. Specifically this is an X13. And before we get started, just a heads up, I come out with new videos every week. So if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. This is an actual ECM motor that I have replaced. I did make a video on that. I will leave a link in the video's description. And a pop-up will appear any moment. Let's get started. Before attempting to reverse the rotation, first things first, turn off your thermostat. From there, you're going to look for a disconnect switch at your air handler unit. You're going to want to turn that off and for extra safety, turn off the breaker. At this point, you're going to want to flip the motor and get to the module. The module is this piece on the bottom here. These are two quarter inch screws, so we're going to take our nut driver and start taking them off. From here, we can pull out the module from the motor. Keep in mind exactly how you took this off. You're gonna to wanna to put it back the exact same way. Here's the module, and as you can see, something burnt out in here, that's for sure. So, we have this clip here. Our main focus is going to be right here at this wiring harness. In the back, there's a little clip which you can push down, and then you can unplug the motor from the module. This is actually really cool because inside you can see the copper windings. A lot of the time with these motors, it's not actually the windings that go bad, but the module itself. As you can see, this piece right here is crispy. It's basically right there, broken off on one leg. All right, so the moment we have all been waiting for Here's the secret in the plug here. As you can see, we have three wires, a black wire, a blue wire, and a red wire. The idea is to swap out one portion of the black wire with the red. So we would cut the red wire here and cut the black wire here basically we would flip this plug around so I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like so as you can see solid red solid black cut here connect one wire to this side and then the other side that we cut put it on this side so we're basically going to switch the red wire with the black wire so I like to cut in a place where it's easy to put back so give yourself some slack I say right there is good. And then do the same in the same position. Right? Basically what we're gonna do now is switch this. So now these will go together. And then these will go together. Let me show you what it looks like after. So the black connects to the red and the red gets connected to this black. We're just gonna basically switch it around. So we just cut our wires. We're gonna strip back on the insulation and we're gonna use a solderless connector. Specifically, they want you to use a butt connector that looks like this. Here are the instructions that actually came with this motor, which is actually amazing. It's just a little hard to tell with black and white, but what they did was cut the wires, reverse, 
the red and the black. As you can see, they have buck connectors here. I'm not sure exactly how I do that. All right, so let's cut back on these wires. As you can see, we just stripped back the insulation and we have a little bit of conductor showing. And we're gonna use these butt connectors and crimp them together. This tool here makes it super easy to splice wires. You can grip things here and we actually have a crimping tool in here as well. Sometimes it's hard to crimp with this in such a tight space like inside here. It's easier when it's at the nose, so this is an inexpensive crimping tool that I definitely recommend. So basically, we're going to take our wire and just slide the butt connector inside and crimp it right here. Next, we're going to do the same for the opposite end and crimp. So now the black wire, you're gonna crimp it to the red one. And the red wire, you're gonna crimp it to the black one. All right, so here is our finished product. As you can see, the red wire now goes to the black. Everything is crimped and the black wire now goes to the red. And by doing that, we just reversed the rotation. From here, we're gonna put the wire harness back in its place. You hear a click and you're good to go. Make sure your connections are snug and from here, we're gonna slide the motor back into place. All right, everything is nice and snug. And now we can put back our two screws. Typically, these motors are programmed, so you wanna make sure you go by the correct model number and they will program it for you properly. But if you ever run into the case where your motor is spinning in the opposite direction, this is the trick to reverse the rotation. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and I'll catch you all next time.